I grew up in orphanage and then I joined the Air Force. And when I got out of the Air Force, I came home, but I don't have a home. My home was the orphanage. So I worked uh, for about six months, eight months, trying to save money to leave the country. I said I want to come in to New York, stay until I run out of money and go back to Israel. But when I got here, the energy blows your mind. Different culture, different thinking, different, different feeling, different, it just, you suddenly feel free. When I came to New York, I went to YMCA. I decided that I'm gonna live on $5 a day. And then I ran out of money and uh, I didn't want to live. So I started looking for jobs. I washed cars in a parking lot. I was uh, delivering laundry from, I work in a laundry cleaner. And one of the jobs were being an electrician uh, in the garment center. Life is one if you are true to life and you're true to your work. It's, it's all the same thing. It's not work and life. La the same philosophy that I apply to my collection, I apply to life itself. What I like to see in my clothes when I uh, put the outfit together is I like to see a light bulb goes on. It could be a new color, it could be a new shape, it could be new lengths, it could be the fabric. But in the end of the day, it's got to look pretty. It's got to look elegant, sophisticated. She's got to look that she's proud. It's enhancing her beauty. Maybe I need some inspirational pieces that will make people dream, but maybe it's not wearable or not going to buy it. Uh, I don't like to do much of that, but I know it's necessary, some of it. I prefer to have a piece on the runway that is inspirational, but yet wearable, but definitely making the woman look pretty and attractive. Oh, I love life and I love what I do. I love uh, beautiful things, I love beautiful clothes, I love beautiful women, I love beautiful life. I love everything that makes life more beautiful.